Hello. Um, the universe has countless ways of defining us as human beings. And my two pieces today will focus on two things that uh, they define us as humans. My first piece is called expectations. As I held a borrowed pen to jot down an idea for my new poem, I had expectations. I expected the poem would turn out great, but hey, you're the ones to decide that. Growing up, I had a lot of expect. Actually, my mother had a lot of expectations for me, as I believe most of you here can relate. And later, these expectations raised questions that made me question my decisions. When I was four, she told me that I should be a truck driver because those guys were making a lot of money. And yes, I believed her, only to find out later that it was not the truck driver that was making a lot of money, but rather the truck owner. Expectations do not play fair. Take. This guy who expected to be an engineer ended up serving cocktails, spirits, and beer. Tech. This girl who expected to be a doctor ended up serving men on the streets and in a small dim lit room that's hot like an incubator. I once witnessed expectations being shattered, which led to a broken heart and a bro to a broken home and a broken heart. So trust me when I say, if you get less than what you expect, it is going to hurt. All men are trash, right? Yes. <laughs> I've heard this phrase far too many times. But for your sake, ladies, let me spill the beans. You see, if you have allowed yourself to be used by trash, then what makes you different from trash cans and trash bins? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, don't call me wrong because I do not condone cheating. But before you judge me, match the reality with what you're expecting. As for the lads, do not expect a slay queen to be your home queen because all she cares about is slaying your banknotes down to the last coin. As a, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, she is street royalty. And it's in these very streets that her status translates into zero loyalty. You see, what I mean to say is expectations make us cry most times than not. And we hope that we could turn back the hands on that Rolex or Hobart or Tizzle. Well, I do not mean to sound fancy, but imagine a sunset just after midnight. Well, it's hard to ignore expectations, right? And even harder to avoid them. But in these times where people live large only on social media, and most people are victims of the black screen dystopia, mark my words, you better keep them at a minimum. So that's the first piece. As for the second piece, it's called Our Story. It's my story, it's your story. And I believe everyone here will relate. Let me tell you a story. It's a story that you already know about. It's a story that's both bitter and sweet. It's a story of a mother and her child. It's a story of those who laughed and those who cried. 
It's a story of cynics and critics who have struck these words on the heart that thou shall not pass. But in the end, the cynics turn into believers and believers turn into grievers. It's a story that has seen so many songs and praises, guns and roses, diamonds and gold. It's a story that we hear about when we're young, we live it when we're adults, and we reminisce about it when we are old. It's a story that lives when we're alive and dies when we die, but only the few fortunate ones catch that break. It's a story of love and heartbreak. Thank you.